Right, welcome back and let me again welcome our guest uh, tonight, uh, Engineer Hassan Shaaban, uh, political analyst. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you. And uh, I'll start from the end of what we have just seen. Mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll start with taking remarks uh, and reading into the President's statements. Here, uh, the uh, President started with uh, saying that Egypt aims to join the ranks of developed uh, states in production or in the production of electric power and renewable energy as well as electricity linkage projects with neighboring countries. countries yes. You're reading. Yes. Well, we've been working on our electrical grid for some time, not only to, uh, to transfer electricity, uh, you know, to remote areas in Egypt or anything, but we made an, a grid that is capable of being connected with our, with other grids in neighboring countries, so we can transfer electricity mm. from the neighboring countries to abroad, across the Mediterranean, for instance, to Europe. So uh, we have a very good infrastructure in uh, the electrical field. Uh, in the last five, six years, actually. Uh, we've seen a miracle actually happen in this particular field. Uh, the grid is very capable of, uh, you know, uh, transferring electricity to neighboring countries who have problems with electricity, like Libya, for instance. Uh, uh, I think also we have a, 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 a deal with Jordan and Cyprus, of course, uh, we did that. Uh, we are uh, in, a, in a location that permits us to transfer electricity to others. The new thing is uh, that you've added uh, the solar uh, energy to the, uh, to, the, to the formula. And now uh, it's expandable. I mean, the Bimban uh, location is giving us an edge over a lot of countries, neighboring countries. And... Uh, we are producing clean energy. Uh, I think uh, Europe is in great need of electricity, and a lot of countries in Europe, uh, by the year 2020, they stopped producing electricity from uh, nuclear uh, plants. And they are seeking clean energy. And this is our chance, actually, to sell uh, the advantage that God gave us. We have a sunny country, and it's about time to benefit from that. Uh, we have a president and the government is trying to invest everything, including selling sun. Indeed. Indeed. Did you just hear the president when he said, are we sleeping? No, sir, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Definitely we're not. We're not. We're not. And we're not all sleeping, by the way. <laughs> right. Uh, getting back to what we were speaking about, and you uh, shed uh, light and pinpointed on two important things, actually. One thing is the clean energy that we are seeking. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, um, uh, this is the theme of the whole world, going green. Yes. Right. And uh, the second uh, issue is how far did we go? And uh, in, 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 in this uh, particular mm -hmm. area, and that was very much illustrated. We'll start from this and we'll go to go green after that. We'll start from this, but let me here take the minister and how the minister pointed out to prior to 2014, how the situation was mm -hmm. and how it became right now. We're, we're speaking about 30% of power plants uh, were outdated, yeah. outdated. Mm -hmm. Could you even imagine? And that uh, the emergency plan was set at uh, the time to add 3,626 megawatts of the grid. And that 27 billion were spent on switching, just switching power plants from simple cycle gas to combined cycle, by, uh, raising the production from around 4,000 megawatts to over 14,000. Right. You are the engineer, right. please. This is, this is actually a huge investment that we never really dreamt of. I mean, to invest such amount of money in, the, in this particular field, it required really a lot of guts. First, uh, you know, you're going to have to uh, be very careful when you study the cost. 
because definitely we all witnessed that there is a rise in prices of, of electricity, but this is due to the high cost of producing electricity, and this is worldwide actually. And, uh, and what happened actually, we are in a position to uh, sell our surplus electricity to other neighboring countries. We, this is a very economical uh, issue, not only a technical issue, an engineering uh, issue. No, this is an economical issue. We are in a position to sell electricity to others, whether it's a clean energy or uh, uh, regular electricity produced from gas or, uh, you know, dual uh, fuel. Yes. When we are speaking about, or, or, or I just want to understand what is switching power plants from simple cycle gas to combined cycle. What does this mean? Actually, it, actually, at one time we were depending only on gas, but now we use coal as well. So actually, uh, though we're using coal, but we uh, uh, reduced the amount of carbon uh, uh, in the oh. air by uh, uh, almost the third, uh, uh, you know, thirty percent, around thirty percent uh, decrease in the pollution in Egypt. Right. Speaking about pollution, and since you just uh, brought it up, so here the uh, the minister said that Egypt's carbon emissions declined by 26.2 percent in the yes. fiscal year 2020 till 2021, mm -hmm. compared to fiscal year 2014-2015. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. How do you view that? Just we, as we are ahead, we're just uh, next year will be hosting with God's will, COP27. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for Egypt? What, does, what measures did Egypt take Actually, in order we are, to... We are abiding with the, with the, uh, with the international uh, uh, agreements that we, you know, that we participate in conferences and we're trying to uh, reduce carbon emission. And, uh, you know, what happened actually, we are modernizing our facilities. Uh, this modernization uh, made us capable of reducing the uh, carbon emission in the air. So uh, I think we will feel this, you know, all over Egypt uh, very soon. Uh, we're encouraging tourism. We're encouraging, you know, uh, uh, you know we, we're going to host a, a, a conference very soon, and we're going to be a, we have to be a model for the countries who are participating in this conference uh, regarding the uh, environment actually we... getting back to the focus of our episode tonight mm -hmm. the bim bam mm -hmm. plant uh, this uh, solar power park is said to be one of the world largest mm -hmm. world Large. largest solar power parks uh, uh, after the, its mm -hmm. completion mm -hmm. How do you view that, and especially that it is built in participation with many uh, other partners? We're speaking here about uh, uh, some of the private uh, sector, some of the international even partners. Mm -hmm. We're speaking about the International Finance Corporation. We're speaking about, uh, this is a, a member of the World Bank. We're speaking about the British and Saudi capital. We're speaking about uh, uh, lots of partners in, in, in this big big right. project in this area. We're speaking also about Upper Egypt. Upper Egypt again. Yes. You see, a uh, few years uh, ago, uh, the European Union actually had an agreement with some of the uh, Sahara countries. Oh. And there was a, an agreement to uh, export clean energy from these countries uh, to Europe using solar uh, uh, systems. So at that time, we were lagging behind. But today, I think we are in a position to join uh, you know, the group. I mean, we're going to have uh, soon, uh, I think, after this success in BIM band, we're going to have two, three BIM bands again, because we're going to have to uh, export uh, electricity to Europe. And this is a, a source of uh, income that, uh, you know, we could 
get the international community, especially the uh, European Union, to participate in financing it. See, the, uh, once the, this uh, economical community uh, finances our projects, this is a declaration that Egypt is on the right track. You know, we are on the right track with investing our money and the loans we get and the, the technical help and, yeah, in the right uh, assets, actually. On the right track. So this bin band solar complex uh, is expected to generate 1,600 megawatts of mm -hmm. energy. We're speaking about renewable energy because right. this is a solar uh, plant. Mm -hmm. To which extent does this uh, give uh, uh, or, 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 or give Egypt uh, uh, um, the chance to show how much it is committed to uh, renewable energy, to uh, go green and, 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 and all this? Let me put it this way. Mm. Uh, in order to have sustainable development, First item is electricity. You require electricity to have a successful, sustainable uh, development program. Indeed. And, you know, this area, this particular area, the uh, Owainat area, Tushka, uh, and uh, uh, west of Minya, and the New Valley, all of this, now it's uh, all of these uh, areas are very hot and uh, uh, they have, you know, we have excellent uh, fertile uh, uh, soil that we could use. I'm, I'm not saying it's as fertile as the the, uh, uh, the delta and the valley, mm. but it is suitable to grow uh, uh, crops that have an economical value that will add a lot to our country actually. So, uh, uh, to have a a, a location like Bimban means that we will be able to carry out our sustainable development program successfully. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going into two parallel lines. We are cultivating the areas of Tushka and Owainat and uh, uh, the, up all the way to even Farafra, all the way to Farafra. And I think we soon will see another Bimban. This is my opinion because we might need it, and uh, and I think we we have a very ambitious program in regard of producing electricity also from uh, wind, because you know renewable energy is the name of the game right now. We're not just speaking about energy, actually. We're speaking about um, a total hmm? uh, uh, change for this very yes. particular area of Egypt. We're speaking about uh, uh, the prospect of an, uh, 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 another new administrative capital in Aswan, for an instant. You see, this is a very strategic location. We, we neglected this. We were drawn, you know, our attention uh, were drawn to other problems at the past, but this particular area is, is, is very important strategically to us. Uh, the corner Sudan, Egypt, Chad, Libya is, is, is a very important location. Uh, this is really a, a core where you can enter really Africa from this particular area, uh, all the way to the uh, countries that doesn't have shores or seas or ports. Uh, I think uh, this area, once it's fully developed, you will see a lot of change economically. You could actually produce a lot of goods in this particular area uh, uh, logistically and uh, uh, export it to the close countries, Chad, uh, Niger, Dahomey, all, because these countries actually have a problem in cooling. Uh, they, they're lagging behind in refrigeration and cooling of uh, food and strategic uh, mm. food stocks. So uh, this area will become a very, very important economical uh, hub for Egypt. Uh, I think we will be able to 
utilize it uh, uh, in a very good way. I, I think I personally have an idea. Uh, it's in, in my opinion, it might be more important than the Cape Town Alexandria Highway. I think if we connect the Red Sea all the way to uh, uh, Western Africa through the closed countries of like Chad no. and let me take the idea after I uh, uh, go through this uh, report because I really want to put the uh, the maps that you've brought with you. Okay. okay? <laughs> right. So before we uh, continue on with our uh, discussion, let's have this report. And the four billion massive uh, Binman Solar Power Park was launched in 2019 and will generate 1.8 uh, gigawatt via 32 power plants operated by various companies when completed. The first phase of the project was connected to Egypt's national electricity grid in December of this year. Let's watch. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurated on Monday Aswan's Bin Ben Solar Park, which is described as the largest solar power plant in the world. It was established in partnership with the private sector and specialized international expertise. The station is located about 35 kilometers northwest of Aswan in the village of Bin Ben. It is designed to produce an additional 2,000 megawatts of electricity for the unified national grid. The site includes 32 solar power plants. Each plant has a capacity of 50 megawatts. The project includes four transformer stations, Bin Ben 1, 2, 3 and 4, to discharge the energy produced from the solar stations. The distance between each of the four stations is about one and a half kilometers. Each company or investor has one or two plots of land on which photovoltaic cells are installed and all of them are connected to stations that in turn connect the electricity produced to the unified network. The project site was chosen based on studies and reports from NASA and other international scientific institutions which confirmed the comparative advantage of Aswan in establishing these projects in the solar energy field. The Bin Ben solar power plant comes as one of the sources of energy diversification and maximization of the use of renewable energy. The project's production of electricity is equivalent to 90% of the energy produced from the high dam.